Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're here in the City West Hotel, um, basically the launch of the UEFA Euro Under 17s tournament. I'm here with Andrew Omo Bemidele. Yeah. Did I get that right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First time around. Um, but yeah, we're just doing a bit of a kind of player profile coming up to the tournament on yourself. So I just want to kind of ask you a couple of uh, questions, basically. What, so, what position do you play? I play centre back. Centre back. Yeah. And what, what club are you playing for at the moment? I play for North City. North City. Over England, yeah. So would you, are you, would you be working a lot with, say, probably Adam Eda? Yeah, we are training with him there. He's more 23s, so I'm 16 at the moment, so I'm in and around the 23s, but regularly 18s. Okay. So, yeah. But yeah, I'll train with him every day. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's, obviously, it's obviously a good time to be at Norwich at the moment, yeah. obviously have to get it's a promotion. promotion. Yeah. So yeah, it's, 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 it was a great vibe around the club. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to the game yesterday, because, uh, not yesterday, on um, Saturday, yeah, because sorry, we're losing track of the days yeah, as well. Because I, I, I was flying over and uh, when I was on the plane, I was trying to, no signal, and I was trying to look at the game, but when I got off the plane, I seen it got promoted, so yeah. it was good. It's, it's, obviously, it's obviously inspiring for yourselves, yeah. you know, watching the, the, the main team going up there and whatever, but um, just in regards to yourself and obviously Ireland this week, I mean, you had your first session today, how did that go? Uh, we're, we haven't left yet, it's, the, it's after this. Or, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah but the... Everywhere, everyone, everyone's buzzing. So the session, uh, it's going to be a good session, and uh, it's all leading up to the first game against Greece on Friday. So yeah, I'm looking forward to. It. Yeah, well, what's the what's the buzz like? Have you played with a lot of these players before? Yeah, yeah. When I um, because there's a real buzz around the underage setup at the moment, and yeah. you know he's doing very well. Yeah. A lot of you are playing for pretty high level clubs as well, or at least developing at these clubs. You yeah. know. Um, yeah, we all know each other. Like we all, every single one of us are good mates. So it's good to have that key team chemistry because it will show on the pitch as well as well as off it so yeah the buzz is just great it's a good environment to be in like. yeah as far as that there seems to be a lot of good coverage in regards like I know John O'Shea is the ambassador and stuff yeah. like that. has he been in a, any contact with any of you guys yeah he's been um, the draw Seamus Gower captain was there yeah but he's, he's I think he's coming in to have a meeting with us before the first game so yeah we'll have uh, contact with him before the game yeah, it's not a bad person to have. He's been there, exactly. done it. What has he not won realistically yeah, exactly. at club level, anyway? Um, but just in regards to the, the, the tournament, have you been watching any of like the Cares Kids or anything like that to kind of get yourselves a little bit psyched up? It was the documentary of basically when you know uh, Brian Kerr managed the underage team and they went on to win. The yeah, European we watch tournament. like we watch all the past tournaments like last year. They made it to the quarterfinals. We've like um, reviewing all the way they play and stuff like that. Obviously, some analysis on Greece and stuff. So. We're ready, like, yeah, we all feel good and we're all fresh to go, so. Yeah, now you just touched on uh, on last year, obviously there was a little bit of disappointment, oh, but yeah, that must probably. have been encouraging to see how far you could have went. I mean, we were only penalty, penalty shootout, yeah. probably robbed, in my exactly, opinion. Exactly, we were, yeah. Um, so, you know, that must give you inspiration. You can still mix it with the best yeah, and, course. you know, you shouldn't yeah, have any fear about going on. It was unlucky, like, there's nothing really you can do about that. It was just the referees, but obviously it's something to look up to. They made it to the quarterfinals got beat on penalties by Holland but it just shows we can mix it with the best country so just looking forward to it yeah and just lastly then uh, we got Greece uh, on Friday and Talos Day are you expecting a big crowd to be there? Uh, yeah because it's the uh, opening game so I'm expecting we went to Pats versus uh, Rovers last night just to get the feel of the yeah, place yeah yeah we were there ourselves we've seen a lot of you yeah, there yeah, I mean so, you yeah. saw look like you were having a bit of, bit of crack anyway as yeah, well. we were. It's, just, it's good team bonding as well just all sitting together watching the game so yeah, we just went there to get a feel of the environment and stuff. So yeah, I'm expecting a decent crowd on Friday. Mm. Oh, absolutely. Well, listen, Andrew, th uh, thanks very much for your time. No and I wish you nothing but best of luck Cheers. on uh, Friday and for the rest of the tournament going yeah. forward. So thanks very much Thank for you your time, Ari. Best of luck.